starting off here, a patient who's undergone surgery, how are you deciding who gets adjuvant treatment and what who's going to be the right partner here? Is it going to be just platinum based? Are you considering uh, bevacizumab? What's the role of PARP inhibitor? Can you walk us through your thought process in adjuvant settings? Yes. So in terms of adjuvant therapy, um, you have it broken down nicely here in this graphic. So all stage two through stage four, um, uh, or patients with stage two through stage four high grade serous um, ovarian cancer are going to get or should get platinum based chemotherapy. Um, I'll come back to your bevacizumab question in just a second. Um, earlier stages, so to, looking at the, if you look at the NCCN guidelines, what they say is that stage um, 1A um, and 1B uh, low grade, so grade two um, endometrioid uh, tumors, you can observe, um, or you can also offer platinum-based chemotherapy. Women who have a uh, higher risk disease, meaning stage 1C or clear cell, high grade serous, those higher risk histologies, those are people that even though it's an early stage, you know, stage one, uh, they really should be given platinum based chemotherapy. Um, and that's just because of the high risk of recurrence, even in those early, early stage settings. So platinum based chemotherapy is the mainstay of, of treatment for uh, women with ovarian cancer. The bevacizumab question comes up. Um, it really is sort of up to the individual um, clinician. I think there's controversy around bevacizumab because um, in all of the studies with Bev in the upfront setting, it does have a progression-free survival benefit, but I think if you look at the studies, there's a lot of mixed data about whether or not there's an actual overall survival benefit. So if you ask five oncologists, you're probably gonna get three different answers. I, It's not wrong to do it in the upfront setting. I personally tend to reserve BEV um, for the recurrent setting. Um, but that is, if, if, if you are somebody that likes to use bevacizumab in the upfront setting, that is absolutely okay. And I feel like this theme has been played out with bevacizumab in other cancers as well, particularly GBM, where we have seen PFS benefit, but not truly overall survival because just the anti-VEGF qualities there with this. With regards to a patient who cannot undergo surgery up front, do you, when relying on neoadjuvant, would you rely on, again, the platinum approach here and then decide on surgery? In that particular scenario, any role of bevacizumab? Because one would have to stop that before you undergo surgery. Yeah, so I think that's where, and again, it's up to the individual clinician, not wrong to use bevacizumab if you're going to be treating neoadjuvantly, but you do have to keep in mind that you have to hold bevacizumab, right. of course, you know, for several weeks before chemotherapy. I think it gets even trickier to use it in the neoadjuvant setting just because of, um, you know, timing of surgery, um, but you absolutely can still use it, and it would be the same platinum-based chemotherapy regimen that you would use um, in an adjuvant setting. And... Uh the the question of number of cycles is rather more fluid. What do you use for neoadjuvant or number in adjuvant uh, settings, like any particular or duration itself that you go for? So what I always tell patients whenever I consent them for chemotherapy for ovarian cancer, whether or not it's you know ad, adjuvant or neoadjuvant, what I always tell patients is that we're gonna you're gonna get six to nine cycles of chemotherapy. Okay. And the reason for that is that generally we like to do three cycles of treatment after surgery. So my general approach for somebody, let's say, who's getting treated neoadjuvantly is we'll do three cycles of treatment, we'll rescan and see what kind of a response they're having. Maybe we get really lucky and it's time to go for surgery right then, and then we do three cycles post-op. It may be that we need a little bit more chemo on board before we go to surgery, six cycles of, of, of chemotherapy, which would then be followed by three cycles uh, adjuvantly.